Hey everybody, it's KZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Team. Last time we learned more and investigated the multiple areas of uh, this uh, little base area and this flower bed. And uh, we've learned that, you know, people shoot people, and that's bad. Hey, little guy. It's a real battlefield there, huh? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, three whole casings. Well, just like the other two shells you found, this one has similar markings on it. It was likely fired from the same gun as the other two. One bullet was shot outside, while the other two were fired indoors. Why was the gun used here? That seems like an important fact to know. Hmm. Let's see, what can we connect to this? Watch it down in this spot though. Nah, there's no way to combine it through that. It's becoming more difficult by the second in terms of like figuring out like what where we can actually, you know, get information with this. It does look like those two can be put together. Because I was starting to think in my mind, like, why, why the glass would be relevant to anything, and I'm like, oh, I got shot. Then it's like, okay, well, which bullet shot it? And then I had to remember which one it was by just dragging all of them at it. If a bullet was fired near where we found the shell casing, the question is which direction the bullet went. First, we should consider the number of times the gun was fired. Inside, the gun was fired... Inside, two. That's right. A total of two shots was fired inside. Y using a semi-automatic, which you feel like there'd be multiple with that kind of weapon, but, you know. But there isn't a single bullet or bullet hole in this room. Other than the cases, the only other indication of the gun being fired indoors is... A uh, glass from the door. Indeed. The glass at the entrance was shattered from the inside out. There is a possibility that a bullet fired from indoors broke the glass. If so, then the person who fired the gun would have had to be... Near the desk. That's right. If the glass had been shattered from a close-range shot, there would have been gunshot residue on the door and window. Thus, the bullet that broke the glass was fired from further inside the room, near the desk. A shot from indoors fired towards the outside is what happened here? Hmm, indeed. Alright, let's see. Bullet fired from near the desk hit the glass and door of the lab. That's what broke the glass. Do you need to research it? Okay. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man, I get an itch. You know one thing I hate? Semantics here, but, you know, it doesn't have to be that focused. Whenever someone, someone's like, I'm itching myself, it's like, no, you're not. You're scratching yourself. Come on. You gotta, you gotta get with this. So we just fused this bullet to the other thing, so let's see. Are there any others for these? This casing was found among the blue flowers. This is injected when the gun was fired, so it's gonna slap entrance. Find this spot. Why but why was she killed? Well let's match bullets to their destinations, I guess. Their destination holes. This casing was found there we in go. the blue flower field. This tells us that shot was fired here. Not a shootout. It's like, yeah, with that one bullet. Indeed. It means that the gun was fired here. And this is the place that Rosalia was found dead. The cause of death was a close-range gunshot through the heart. Thus... The empty casing in the flower field and Rosalia's fatal wound indicate that she was killed here. 
solid evidence. Bam! That's right. This is where Rosalia was cut down. But who? All right, so we we finally have some sort of like conclusive evidence, and that automatically makes me go, "Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty <laughs> I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this." You know. So from here, is there anything to combine at this bullet with? Let's see if he's finished with um with uh, checking uh, the research on these two items. There we go. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the analysis on the glass shard has been completed. Huh, you mean the shard that was found near the entrance? Did you figure out whose blood that is? Yes. At first I thought it might be Albert's, like the blood stain on the floor. But it seems that the blood on the glass shard came from Rosalia. Uh-huh, so I know exactly where that came from. Rosalia's? In. Yes, the DNA matches, there's no doubt. Rosalia left a bloodstain indoors as well. What in the world does this mean? Oh, I know what that means. That means we simply have to go over here and combine the glass shard with the foot. This glass shard was found on the floor near the entrance. It came from the glass on the door after it had shattered. That piece of glass had Rosalia's blood on it. Her corpse's foot had a cut and signs of hemorrhaging on the bottom as well. This most likely means that... Stepped on the broken glass. Yes. Rosalia stepped on this glass shard and cut her foot. From the amount of hemorrhaging, she must have injured it just before her death. This is why you gotta wear shoes, friends. What broke the glass? The glass breaking shot. Yes, these do give us something we can draw a conclusion from. There we go. When the glass and the door shattered, Rosalia... Hmm. When the shot from the desk hit the floor, Rosalia was standing in Portland. She was inside the lab. That's right. Rosalia cut her foot on the broken glass. This proves that she left the room after the glass broke. Hmm. Rosalia's foot was cut right before she died. Given the fact that there aren't any more blood stains from her inside the room, Rosalia headed outside immediately after cutting her foot on the glass. In other words, Rosalia was... Hmm, she was running away. Yes. She most likely avoided the shot and ran from the room. The gun was obviously being pointed at... Rosalia. Indeed. The shooter had been aiming at Rosalia all along. That's why she ran out of the room. In doing so, she stepped on the broken glass, injuring her foot. That is what happened at the entrance to this room. Two shots were fired from inside this room. If neither of them was from someone shooting further into the room, and someone inside was targeting Rosalia... Little guy. What is it? Ah, uh, Dr. Kimishima. Uh, we've located the lock. The lock? Oh, you mean the one that goes to the key found in Albert's clothes? Yes. It was a safety deposit box in a bank. Whoa. We've already taken it and the contents. They're actually doing a callback from the last case? Even though that case was finished? That's brilliant. I completely forgot about the magnetic key. Good. What was inside it? A 9mm handgun. Oh, shit! Albert Sartre's fingerprints were found on the grip as well. Why would he do that? Could it be that the person who shot Rosalia was... Hmm. Let's confirm something before that. Was the gun loaded? Yes. The magazine holds seven rounds, and it's possible to keep an additional round chambered. When the gun was found, there were five rounds in it. Five shots. So the maximum number of bullets that could be missing from it is... Hmm, three. Indeed. And if the gun is missing three bullets, then... Hmm, the information that coincides with the number of bullets missing from Albert G Albert's guns is the number of shots used here. Yet another piece of solid evidence. Right. That's the same number of cases that were found here. 
Uh, Dr. Kimishima, if I may? Yes, what is it? Well, luckily the gun is in condition to fire. If you can find one of the bullets from the scene there, we can use the rifling to determine if it had been fired from this gun. Ugh, nonsense. You expect me to find something that can fly over 250 meters a second? Well, yes, I know it might be a long shot, but... Looks like I don't have a choice. I'll let you know if I do find one. about the differences between the chest and thigh wounds? Are you some kind of psychic super spy or something? Creepy. Nah, we're just running out of things you researched. You'll pay for that slip of the tongue, little guy. Well, sorry, it, it was a joke. I don't do jokes. Hmm. Fine, but I'll remember that. Just tell me what the report says. Oh, yes. Uh, regarding the comparison between the two wounds, looking at them, it appears that both wounds by the same caliber of gun. Huh. But the wounds are of different sizes. Yes, it's possible for wounds to be differently sized even from the exact same gun. How can that happen? The reason I can think of is... The same gun fired both shots. The reason why the wounds have different sizes are the distance was greater. Maybe it was closer, it was gonna be bigger. Farther away, not gonna have as big a wound. I see. The bullets were shot from different distances, weren't they? Way to go, Dr. Kimishima. Sucking up to me won't spare you from my wrath. Oh, fear the wrath of a woman who's going to die any second now. Uh, Keep telling me about the report. Right. Uh, comparing the wounds in the chest and thigh. The shot that struck her thigh was from a greater distance. If the chest wound was made from close range, the other shot would have been fired from about... Eight meters away. It seems that there's a big difference in the way she received both of these wounds, then. Hmm. Well, if he wants me to go find the bullet, let me go look out into the field. That's the only one I could generally think of. We'll check the field, and then we'll check his base and see if we can find a bullet. I don't know, maybe I could find some in here. I don't know. I, I'm just like, hey, may, maybe I'll, maybe I could find uh, a bullet. The bullet should still have blood on it. If I could still find blood on other things, it didn't seem like I couldn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no luck on that. Unless I already have a fatal bullet. There's a gun fired near the entrance. Rosalia had a laceration on her left foot and a gunshot wound in her right thigh. She was in no condition to walk. Her foot had been injured by stepping on the broken glass at the entrance to the lab. And when she was shot in the leg... She was standing near the door to the lab. Wait, no, this is when she was closer, <laughs> actually. Just straight up inside. Casey, what are you doing? I was in the field of the thing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, That's guys. Right. I have moments. Rosalia collapsed when she was hit in the leg. There's only one place in this lab a shooter could have been standing to shoot Rosalia in the field. That is... When Rosalia was shot in the right leg as she was running, the shooter was standing near the lab's door. Solid evidence. Bam! 
Yes. It's from the entrance to the lab. The bullet that hit Rosalia's thigh went completely through. It'll be difficult to find that bullet. Oh, maybe now I can look for it. Maybe now it'll let me look around for it. The bullet that ended Rosalia's life. Looking around randomly for it won't get me anywhere. The number of bullets that were fired at this scene is... Total of three shots. Right. One shot in the flower field, one was by the desk, and another at the entrance. That's a total of three shots fired. Of these three, which one was fired last? Hmm. The one in the blue flower bed. That's right. The bullet shot in the field is the one that killed Rosalia. If it was before then, she couldn't have stepped on the glass, and there would be no need to shoot her leg. Then, what condition was Rosalia in when she was killed? Standing in the flower bed or running away? We cannot tell. Oh, running away. That was careless. Standing in the flower bed like I thought at first. I can't mess around anymore. It's time to get serious. Collapsed on the ground. Indeed. She was on the ground. I was thinking that she may have been standing though. Ah, whatever. I got it right, internet. After eliminating all possible... No, I could have picked number one again. Wait. Rosalia was lying on the ground when she was shot. She couldn't have been standing with those injuries to her foot and leg. So the shooter must have been standing above her, shooting down. Well, that would make sense. Mm, that's right. The bullet that went through her chest must be... Oh, if that's the case, we know exactly where the bullet is. It's dug into the ground. And I'm guessing now that I've triggered this moment in the game, it will actually let me find it. So now we, now we're digging. Here it is. This is the bullet that killed Rosalia. Boom, baby! We have found the fatal the bullet. I don't care what you have to say. We're going back. We're finishing the case in this episode. I don't care how long this episode is going to end up being. It's. Uh, I may have made a mistake just now saying that. Fuck it, you're getting a long one today. Hey, little guy, I found what you wanted. You managed to find a bullet? I don't believe it. You don't? Oh, I'll just throw this thing away then. Oh, don't even pretend like you would do that. No, 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 no. Come on, Dr. Kimishima, I need that. Seriously. Sheesh, you knew what I meant. I'm going to sacrifice all of America just to make little guy look like an idiot. Did you say something? No, I'll start analyzing it right away. Did you check the rifling? It's a perfect match. <sighs> so that means... Yes, there's no doubt at all that that bullet was fired from Albert's gun. Albert's gun is the murder weapon. What in the world caused all this to happen, though? Ah, yes. We can use these to find a deeper truth. Dr. Sartre left a gun in a safety deposit box. Does anyone have, like, a perfect, like, set name for him? Dr. Sartre. Dr. Sartre. Dr. Sartre. Or what? Sartre. All I know is that there's three different pronunciations for this guy. It's rifling perfectly matches the bullet that killed Rosalia. It's not something to really get bothered by, but I'm weird. What this shows is... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to The bullet that killed Rosalia matches the rifling from Albert's gun. That proves that... Al Albert killed Rosalia. Yet another piece of solid evidence. Boom, baby! Yeah, Rosalia and Albert lived together like a true family. What happened between them? You gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. I assume there was something. About the recorder. Ooh. What is it? We were able to reconstruct one of the sound files. Good. Can you tell when the recording was made? Well, it seems to have been recorded after the one I gave you before, but... What's wrong? Did something happen? It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, uh, sorry. Anyway, please try listening to the new recording. I've sent it over to you in the file, Record 02. Alright, I'll make sure I hear it. 
So if it's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, I'm guessing that Albert goes crazy, and that's the reason that he shoots him. Which also would work with the fact that in his final words on his case last time, he said he was possessed by the devil. So, you compound those things together. And I guess he escapes Mexico, and that's what he does after he kills his daughter. Puts her in those beautiful bed of flowers. Um, aside from that, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to put it together just so I look like a smarty pants. Um, I'm going to assume that the condition he had just makes him progressively, like... Uh, the virus just makes you more anger-prone. It would also explain the mad bomber situation... Yeah, the revolutionary, rather. That would, uh, it would also explain the young girl who was essentially killed by her parents in the way that they ignored her, of her just having rash moments. But enough of my own conjecture, let's listen to the actual thing. that? No. Well, I have no evidence to mess with here. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the results of the analysis are in. Well, that probably because I could have done that much earlier. Good. Which results are we talking about here? Oh, right. Uh, the one on Albert's bloodstain. Let's see. Traces of saliva were detected in the components of the bloodstain. Saliva? That means you can't make any more rash decisions. It was vomited. Yet another symptom of the Rosalia virus. That's right. It means that the blood was from blood Albert had vomited. Yes, that appears to be the case. Can you figure something out from that? Well, Albert was infected with viral hemorrhagic fever. This disease causes severe attacks that trigger vomiting of blood. Severe attacks? Yes, just like Veronica Cage and Alma Parker. Exactly. There's a possibility that the disease undermined his sanity and drove him mad. Yeah. Well, in any case, we're finally starting to see the big picture behind what happened here. Hmm, not yet. The most important truth hasn't been uncovered. Do you mean the cause of the recent outbreak of this disease? Yes. Albert died of viral hemorrhagic fever two years ago. Rosalia, the host of the virus, was killed even before that. So why would the virus begin spreading now? And how can we stop it? Could it be possible? And I don't want to say that I'm going to accidentally find out the revelation just on my own mind here. Could this virus have been spread from the monarch butterflies? We don't have any answers for these important questions yet. I'm I'm going all in on that bet, guys. Like I'm going in. Bad. Well, I really don't have much to regret. That's that's no, my prediction right I can there. Still do this. I'm not going to give up. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. I've repaired another voice file. Huh? You? Oh come on! Did you really think I meant that? Even I have something to live for, you know. Hmm. Anyway, I've transferred the restored recording to you. The file name is Record 03. Give it a listen. All right. All right. Do you know when this was recorded? Yes, uh, I've listened to it, and it seems to be from before Albert lost his mind. The recorder doesn't have any more files for me to send you. All right. I'll try listening to it. Hmm. Rosalia was found dead in that field of blue flowers. I think I might finally be able to understand why now. Experiments from the other day are in. It's a disaster. That virus. 
Lars. It's the most vicious and dangerous thing I have ever seen. No matter what attempts I make, nothing can stop their activities. They multiply and devour and destroy everything. How can she still be alive while that monster lives within her? I feel that our blood holds the secret to that. Our blood is the only key to saving all of humanity. I cannot give up. There's nothing more I can do to stall it. One day, this virus will be brought to heal, and I will return to that place, and... Professor Satwa said that Rosalia's blood was the only key. This key that Rosalia had that allowed her to live with the virus was... I can't make any more rash decisions. I need to mm. think cautiously. That key was... Her white blood cells? I can't mess around anymore. It's Mitochondria? I cannot make any An antibody? Cells. It was a glycoprotein called <laughs> immunoglobulin. In other words, it was an antibody. I'm dumb. The Rosalia virus is immensely powerful. The professor tried to extract the antibody in order to suppress and control its activity. <sighs> That was a Pandora's box that should never have been opened. Rosalia's blood was too much of a danger to look into. Girl with miraculous blood. Little guy, I need your help. Oh, that's rare coming from you. What can I do? I need to get to the bottom of these blue flowers. Uh, didn't we analyze those already? What we know now may throw a new light on what we've looked at before. Yeah. All right, let's sort through our information again then. Yes. Rosalia was found collapsed in the middle of these blue flowers. That's right. We had a number of ideas about why that happened. We thought that the killer might have moved the body before hypostasis set in. Another possibility was that Rosalia ran to the blue flowers herself. Yes. Does any of that change with the information we've gained? Indeed. One of those possibilities has already been ruled out. Huh? Which one? Hmm. Don't you see? It's calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Yes. It's impossible for the body to have been moved after death. The reason for that is calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Right. The bullet found in the ground beneath Rosalia proves she was killed right there. Hey, wait. Let me try arguing against you for once. What's that? Uh, never mind. It's, uh, it's still possible she was killed elsewhere, right? She could have been killed somewhere else, then dragged here and shot in the chest to cover it up. Hmm, that's not possible. She was alive before she was shot in the chest. The proof of that is calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Defensive wound on her hand. <sighs> Rosalia held up her hand to try to protect herself from the gunshot. This pattern of wounds could only happen if the victim was conscious at the time. You're right. <sighs> Student fails to defeat the master. What do you keep muttering to yourself? Uh, nothing. Um, anyway. If that's the case, then that means that Rosalia ran to the blue flowers of her own free will. I wonder why. I still don't have an answer for that. Yet. It might be a good idea to examine those flowers in detail once more. I just assumed from the very beginning that those flowers changed color in response to her own blood, maybe. Maybe using those flowers could heal. As like an herbal thing. I don't know. I don't know, I'm... I'm just, I'm just talking bullshit. We gotta go check out the flower bed now. Again. These blue flowers. I can't believe such a vibrant color exists in nature. I should send a picture of this to little guy and have him study it. There could be a reason for why Rosalia had collapsed here. Just 
grab a save there real quick in case I die. Little guy, I've collected some samples of the flower. Huh? Why? I want to know why Rosalia collapsed there. There's no guarantee that it will help us, but there's a chance we might learn something useful. Hmm. Okay. It's worth a shot. Hmm. Good. Thanks for the help. Yeah, yeah. Huh. What the? What's the matter? Oh, uh, well, this flowers. Uh, it's Asclepius. What are you talking about? The red flowers of the Asclepius. I want you to tell me about the blue flowers. That's what I'm saying. These are Asclepius. What are you saying? Asclepius doesn't have blue flowers. Yes, there are no known breeds of blue Asclepius. But from the shape and the structure, this is an Asclepius blossom. This flower shouldn't exist. What in the world is it then? Girl of Miraculous Blood. Along with flowers that shouldn't exist? Let's try sorting out the information we have. The blue flowers in the center of the field are Asclepias, just like the flowers surrounding them. Then why are the blue flowers only around Rosalia? The reason for this is most likely calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Hmm. The reason why the flowers around Rosalia were blue was because they became discolored. That's right. Those flowers must have become discolored for some reason. A probable cause of that is calm down and ascertain the truth. Rosalia's Naomi. own blood. As I predicted. Indeed. Rosalia was shot through the heart. Rosalia would have lost a large amount of blood from that wound. That blood then seeped into the ground around her. Hmm. This miraculous blood. Containing both the divine and the demonic, the flowers around her body absorbed Rosalia's blood from the soil. That, in turn, caused the flowers to take on this unnatural blue hue. <sighs> I don't want to believe it, but that's the conclusion that I have to arrive at. If that's the case, we can combine the flowers with the deathbed. Yes. These allow us to finally figure everything out. It's no coincidence that Rosalia's body was surrounded by these blue flowers. They were normal red flowers until she died. When she died, her blood soaked into the ground. The Asclepius flowers absorbed her blood and changed color. Most likely what caused the color change in the flowers was... Calm down and ascertain the truth, Naomi. Has to be Rosalia's blood. Solid evidence. That's right. The demon within Rosalia's veins lived on after her death, finding another viable host in the blue Asclepius flowers. I can't believe it. How could such a thing... It may be unbelievable, but it is the truth. The corpse itself is a testament to that. Huh? The corpse? Yes. Remember, Rosalia's corpse had turned completely into adipocere. Adiposir normally occurs when the bacteria that break down bodies do not multiply for some reason. This normally occurs when the corpse is stored in anaerobic conditions for long periods of time. But this is hardly an anaerobic location. The reason her body became adiposir was not due to environmental or weather conditions. It was because the virus within her continued to protect her body. But even if the blue Asclepius are harboring the Rosalia virus, how does that connect to the pandemic going on right now in America? It's impossible. You're right. The Rosalia virus is only passed on via contact with the mucous membranes. Even if this entire field was filled with flowers holding the Rosalia virus, it wouldn't be able to cause the outbreak in Portland, over 3,000 kilometers away. Then how? There was a vector. A vector? Yes. Some method of transmission that carried the virus from these flowers. Yes! This is how the virus spread to cause the infections in cities hundreds of miles away from here. Uh-huh. What? Can't you tell? It's calm down it's and the monarch the butterflies truth. just like I said. They've been showing them since the game started. That's right. The butterflies that led us here carry the virus. The monarchs are the vector for the Rosalia virus. This is how the Rosalia virus has spread. Thank 
conclusion reached. Wait, aren't we done? Dr. Kimishima, can I bother you for a moment? No, I want to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is it? <laughs> you might not need this anymore, but I reconstructed another voice file. Oh. Another one? I thought you'd said that you'd repaired them all. Yes, this file was actually marked as having been deleted. It still existed in the memory, though, so I was able to reconstruct it. I see. When is that recording from? From looking at the date, it's right before Albert lost his sanity. All right. Still, it's unusual for you to go and do something unnecessary like this. Yeah, well, not sure how to put this. I felt this was something that I needed to pass on to you. Okay, I'll try listening to it. Please do. It'll be file record 04. I'm Rosalia. I live here with my daddy. My daddy is really nice and says a lot of nice things. Daddy's a great doctor. He says he's going to save everyone from diseases. He says I've got a poison and a cure in my body and that the poison's really scary, but the cure is really amazing. That's why he's researching how to get that medicine out of me. If that medicine is made, I wonder if it'll heal everyone. And then I can make lots of friends and play with them. <sighs> Daddy's really bothered right now because the research is difficult. But I think I'll be okay if I can stay here like this. I can't see my brother or my big sis. But Daddy's always here for me. He's always laughing. It's really funny. I think Daddy will be happy if he can get the medicine out of me. The exams hurt, but if Daddy's happy, I'll be okay. So I hope that Daddy's research comes true soon, and then everyone can be healed. <sighs> a father who wanted to end all disease, and a daughter who wanted nothing but his success. This is far too sad a conclusion to their stories. And yet, now I can see the truth behind everything that happened here. This. I see. I understand now. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. We came here to find an antiserum in Rosalia's blood. But what we found was that Rosalia had already been killed. I have in my hands the card stating what killed her. Yes, the bullet's rifling matches that of Albert's gun. There's no doubt that Albert Sard was her killer. Three shots were fired. This card shows how it began. Correct. Albert pulled the gun from his desk and fired. He was aiming at his loving daughter, who stood at the door. However, he missed, and the bullet went through the glass. Whether this is due to hesitation or his condition is unknown. Rosalia fled the room, trying to escape. The blood on the glass shard is from her stepping on it. She ran in desperation, but this prevented her escape. That's right. Albert stood in the doorway and shot her. The bullet pierced Rosalia's leg and she collapsed. Albert caught up with the frightened girl as she lay there. And then... Yes, he ended her life. 
But Albert didn't kill Rosalia because he wanted to. He truly loved Rosalia as he would his own daughter. But he had no choice but to kill her. This card shows the reason why. Albert had been infected with the Rosalia virus. However, this virus does more than infect the body. It eats away at the heart and soul, as in my other cases. Because Albert knew of the virus's threat all too well, in order to exterminate it, he killed his own child. And yet, ironically, he may have caused the exact opposite. The blood spilling from the gunshot wound in her chest provided the Rosalia virus with a new host. This is the true cause of the spreading infection. Yes, the blue Asclepius flowers around her body drew in Rosalia's blood and became a new host for death. And so, the mass infection began. A certain organism served as a vector for the virus. Monarch larvae store toxins of the plants that they ingest. The monarchs carrying the Rosalia virus migrated north. And as they went, they showered death in golden scales. This is the truth behind how the virus spread. Rosalia never. Neither did Albert. No one intended for it to end this way. One sought an end to all disease, and the other his success. But that was the beginning. The evil sealed in Rosalia gained wings and flew. That's what Rosalia's last word meant. Beginning. This is the whole truth, illuminated by the light of life. You must have suffered, too. Let's end this. Naomi, come quick! We got the equipment working! All right, I'll be right... Oh, oh. Hey, Naomi? What's wrong? It's nothing. Let's go. It's not nothing. Let me take a... <gasps> you... As I said before, we don't have much time. We still have a job to do, and we must accomplish it. Hey, wait! Hey! How's it coming, Agent? Did you find anything? We've got the power back on, as you can see. The rest's a pile of records, chemicals, and equipment. You? It's all been solved. Albert Sartre killed Rosalia. How sad. His effort to save the world is close to killing it. Yes. He must have realized the virus couldn't be used. That is what caused this tragedy to strike. So, did you find a countermeasure to the virus? Yes. The virus's vector is the monarchs. The scales they lose during migration are spreading it. Don't tell me. The quarantine failed because... The monarch migration pattern extends from Mexico to Lake Erie. 
Even if the virus isn't airborne, it will still spread. Damn it! What should we do then? Naomi, I gathered as much as I could. Flowers? What are you planning on doing? I'll use antibody stabilizers to extract an antiserum. You can do that? Yes. Thankfully, this facility has the necessary equipment. I'll make the serum contain tripeptides in N-terminal order. Uh, all right. Just tell me what to do to help you. Of course. Let's get this over with as fast as we can. <laughs> 